Hey there crafty friends, it's Sharon Luska with my crafty greetings and you're hopping along to Same Set Syndrome and this month we are honoring Joy Claire Designs. I am using the Succulents Digi Stamp Set which is awesome for me because in Canada it's not that easy to get the mail. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and printed off a bunch of these images and I used my husband's laser printer and you had to guess using the laser printer I was going to go and grab my foil and I started foiling and shh don't tell anybody I put black paper through it too and it worked out awesome look how sparkly shimmery that is I just love it so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out these images, fussy cut them. I haven't tried using my uh, scan and cut with black paper, but that's something worthwhile to do later on. And I decided that I wanted to do the gold foil and make sure that it matched um, because I'm in need of a sympathy card and I'm going to be using a with sympathy sentiment, even though she's got some gorgeous uh, sentiments in this stamp set. This is the one that I specifically need. And uh, so I just foiled some um, label paper and sent it through the machine on the sticky side and peeled it off so that I could get that, that foil in a simple way. <laughs> so I also wanted to thicken it up and I, I don't know why I went ahead and die cut myself out white die cuts and that was just kind of dumb because <laughs> I'm putting it all on black paper and I don't want the white to show. So I'm layering up um, two layers of thick black cardstock and then I'm going to be putting the die cut foiled pieces over top of that and I don't know if you guys get the same problem but I always get those little hairs hanging off of everything I do my best to pick them off but I don't know anyways I've got this thin foil piece and probably would have been smarter had I stuck it to a little bit thicker piece of paper because this is so fussy it wasn't the easiest to get stuck down and I'm trying not to get glue on top of the foiled portion I don't want it all mucky and messy well who wants a mucky messy sympathy card <laughs> so I'm sticking this um, layering piece over top of the foiled piece I cut it to give a um, quarter of an inch of a margin around it and then I'm also going to take some of my packing foam here and adding it to the back just to pop it up a little bit I don't know why I got some new uh, ATG runner and there's three different brands from Scotch and this one is just giving me such a hassle and I am completely out of the Tombow Mono Multi Glue right now, which is what I usually use for sticking it down. But I managed to get it to work. It's okay. <laughs> At least it's gonna stay stuck down. So while I'm fitting this all together, there is a prize up for grabs. We had decided that with this hop that we would choose smaller companies to use their products and, and uh, hop along with. And those companies have turned around and honored us by providing a prize to award to you all for supporting us. So Joy Claire has generously offered a $25 gift uh, certificate. You need to comment by July 7th hop to all of the participants on the hop comment everywhere more comments you give uh, the more chances you have to win and the announcement will be made July 10th we're gonna be doing this every month for the next six months and at the end of this there will be a $50 uh, gift card given away and it's Allison Kolka who is the one who's been organizing the same set syndrome hop and uh, she's Wow, she's an organized gal and she's doing an amazing job. So you want to make sure that you click the hashtag in my title. Uh, we are also going to be linking to each other in the drop down box. So to see the next person on the hop, uh, click my drop down box and you will be able to hop along. And uh, if you do get lost, go ahead and just uh, click the hashtag in anyone's title and that's going to get you situated back around. So I was fussing around here trying to see what's going to work best and this is kind of my process when I'm card making. Uh, I try lots of different things and, and see what is going to work and what isn't going to work. And I thought, you know, it's important that you guys get to see that too. Uh, a lot of times we cut that out. Now, 
I don't know why that flat background just was not sitting well with me. So I went ahead and got out one of my old <laughs> Forever Stash member um, embossing folders and embossed up a black background and that did the trick for me. That really hit my hot spot, spot or as Catherine, <laughs> Catherine Kelly always says, tripped my trigger. And by that point in time, I could actually see how this should be getting put together. So I've got my pieces all here and uh, I'm just making some final decisions. Now I had gone and cut some extra off of that border and you can see there what a difference it made. It's just more harmonious with this, the, uh, uh, the with sympathy sentiment because it is a thinner sentiment to have a little bit thinner border. And uh, I always try and think, you know, what is it that I do and why do I do it? And how would that help you guys as creators as well if um, you're trying to make a card and it doesn't look quite the way you want it to look? So uh, that's one of my tips is sometimes I try to match my borders up with the thickness of something else in my project. Now I went ahead and snuck the edges of those leaves into... Um, the foam tape there went kind of sneaking off <laughs> and then I added a little bit of glue just to make sure that they were uh, trapped in between the the project faces here and um, I'm giving them a good squish down and so what I want to do is just pop them up to give them some dimension so they're gonna actually look like they start from way back in behind that beautiful diamond um, uh, image there and then as they come out they're going to rise out and have some dimension. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I got each of the leaves popped up and I just uh, cut little tiny pieces and rather than trying to pick the the backer off I went ahead and just made them all sticky and shoved them in with my pokey tool and I decided to add a few sequins here. This is a hard project for you all to be able to see with all the shimmer and everything going on, but uh, hopefully you can get the idea of what it is that I'm trying to do here. I'm going to get some different lighting going on so you can get a good view and hopefully I'll be able to capture some good pictures. Thank you very much for joining me. Please subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and share some love with the rest of the hoppers. Hop along. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.